Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a sharpie out of steel. So the first thing you'll need is the insides of a regular sharpie. Getting the tip off is harder than you'd think, but I found that sticking it in a hand clamp and then rocking it back and forth worked much better than trying to just twist it off. I used uh, this style of clamp because it has rubber grips on it, and you want that to avoid uh, scuffing the parts that you're going to end up using in the final product. The steel casing is obviously going to have no give to it like the plastic casing does. So I took a triangular file and filed off the ridges that slide into the casing. You just want to be careful here not to file the part that's actually going to be showing once it's all put together. For the casing I used half inch round steel tubing with a 3 8 inch diameter center which was just slightly too small to slide the sharpie tip into. I used a round file on my drill to bore out the center a bit to get the diameter right. You'll want to make sure the edge of the casing is flat so that the tip will sit flush with the body. I did this by clamping my handheld belt sander to my workbench and then grinding it flat. At this point, the top end of the steel casing is still open round tubing. So I slid 3 8 inch round bar into it and welded it in place. Uh, if you don't weld, you could accomplish something similar just by using wood and epoxy. Next I used an angle grinder and a grinding disc to start to blend the round bar and the round tubing into one solid piece of metal. After most of the excess weld was removed, I used an 80 grit sanding disc to finish blending the two pieces together. I stuck the casing in my drill to keep a nice consistent radius, and just a disclaimer, angle grinders are not meant to be used this way, so if you do so, please do so at your own risk. Here I'm doing the final sanding. I found that sanding steel with 80, 150, and 220 grit sandpaper, just like you do with wood, gives it a really nice brush look. After you're done sanding, all that's left to do is work the tip of the Sharpie back into the casing, and for this, solid pressure with a twisting motion is what's going to work best. And here's what it looks like when it's done. Thanks for watching guys, please uh, like this video, subscribe to my channel, and leave a comment if you have the time. Thank you.